And Krishna also says the same thing. Sarvudhanman Puritta. You give up all this pretending religion. You simply surrender unto me. That is real religion. What is the use of speculating on pretending religion? That is not religion at all. That's like pretending law. Law cannot be pretending. Law is law, given by the state. You know, religion means the order given by God, that is religion. If you follow, then you are religious. If you don't follow, then you are demon. Make things very simplified, then it will be appealing to everyone. So this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for making things very simplified. Accept God, accept your position as God's servant, and serve God. That's three words. You have no question? Like, These boys? They don't speak English. Oh. Oh, you don't understand English? They said they are simply here feeling your presence and they realize that you're very busy and so they're simply uh, feeling love for you. Thank you very much. They said they have to go now. All right. Give them prayer. Prasadam. Everyone should be supplied. What uh, what do you see as the future of your movement, and are you planning to? My movement is genuine. To choose a successor. Uh, it is already successful. No, so genuine successful. thing is always successful. Af- after you. Gold is gold. If somebody is fortunate, he can purchase gold. But gold remains gold. If somebody purchases and somebody does not purchase, it doesn't matter. Gold is gold. So future, gold future is always the same <laughs> as it is at present. If it is gold, if it is something glittering, there is another thing. But there must be somebody you know, needed to handle the gold. Huh? Yes, that we are creating. We are creating these devotees who will handle. One thing that he's saying, and uh, this gentleman that I'd like to know, so is your is your successor name or your successor will be? My success is always there. Is always there. Yeah. Spiritual. Just like the sun is there always. It may come before your vision or not. The sun is there, but if you are fortunate, you come before the sun. Otherwise, you remain in darkness. Sun is open to everyone. Our Krishna consciousness movement, Krishna is open to everyone. But if you are fortunate, you come to this light. If you are unfortunate, you do not. That is your choice. Krishna says, Sarva Dharman Paritya Mame Kang Saranam Praja. You do it. Now it is your choice. You surrender to Krishna or don't surrender. That is your business. 
We are convincing everyone, take to Krishna consciousness and you will be happy. Now it is their business to take it or not to take. But he can come, he can ask question and say, How, why shall I take it? That we are ready to convince him. That is preaching. You are, when you have come to United States, <coughs> you are not. I came to give you. Yes. So you, some of you have taken, and some have not taken. So what can I do? I came to give you Krishna consciousness. That is my duty. My Guru Maharaj ordered, and I came. And, but some of you, you have taken, and most of they have not taken. So that is another thing. But I came to deliver you the genuine thing. Yes. The, the way you have come is that you have not. You 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 have come as though you are not come from a religion or nothing. You come and everybody fall in love with you. You would preach and it's proud, but we cannot deny you are you are the authority because you know everything and you. Anyway, you take it, then you become happy. That's all. Of course, when you take it out of love. Yeah. That is a fact. So without love, this transaction, because there is no price for it. Uh, all other transactions there is exchange of price. Here there is no price. So and out of love only one can take it. Not by paying any price. It is not possible. To okay. pay the price of Krishna consciousness is not possible. You cannot force anybody to say, I'm the guru, I'm the father, we have to fall in love with you. Now why shall I force? But my, that is not my business. I am Krishna's servant. I simply say, here is a good thing, you take it. Now Krishna also says that. He does not force. Krishna is God. He can force, but he does not do that. Shila, apart from uh, the Bara Kala, which uh, were the quality of Lord Rama, uh, are there a few other things which could be included while you are worshipping or devoting or meditating? God has all the qualities that you can conceive. It is generally not Bhara, it is taken as six. Six. Six opulences. Bhava means opulence. Mm -hmm. And Ban means possessing. Bhagavat. Bhagavat Sabha. Bhava means opulence. And Bhat means one who possesses. Mm -hmm. And the first word in Bhagavad Sabda is Bhagavan. This is Bhava means six kinds of opulence. Riches, then fame, then bodily strength, influence, knowledge, beauty, and in These are opulence. If one is very rich, people are attracted. If one is very reputed, people are attracted. If one is very strong, people are attracted. Influencer, attracted. If one is very beautiful, man or woman, he is also attracted. If one is very wise, he is attracted. And one who is renounced, he is also attracted. So Krishna has got all these qualifications in full. That is the definition of God. Anyone who possesses all these qualities in fullness, not partially. And that is God. This is the definition of God. Not that 
I can produce uh, one ounce of gold. But if we can produce all the mines of gold, oh, he's God. Not cheap God. 